Hey guys, I had a subscriber asking me about modifying a shunt. That's basically what it looks like. Uh, what you're going to do is you're going to put a little bit of solder on each shunt. Um, which you can see, a little bit of solder, soldering gun. You make sure you don't burn any wires in the process. You can pretty much do this one that's off the, uh, on the bike still. You just have to slide the uh, container or the um, aluminum casing off. Now, you just want to coat each shunt. Uh, you don't want a big blob. You definitely don't want to join both shunts together with a big blob of solder. You'll oh, basically overdo it. It takes very little to modify these. You only want to drop an extra 10 to 12 amps. Uh, anything more than that, you risk blowing your controller. Uh, basically what will happen is it will just fail when you go to launch. So, uh, As you can see, I did end up joining them together by mistake. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to basically take a pair of snips and basically just separate them and leave the two blobs of solder on each shunt leg. And that's it. Um, you still risk blowing up the, the controller, but it's not the risk is very low uh, compared to just lathering it right up. If you want maximum amps, just lather it up or even wrap a wire around it. But as you can see, two shunts are separate from each other and there's a, a light blob of solder in each one of them. That's about it. That's all you have to do. If you want more speed, just um, add more volts. Take it easy.